Hi, this is going to be a very quick video explaining the very basics of FM synthesis. This can be quite confusing if you're coming to it brand new, but it's a really powerful synthesis method worthwhile digging into. FM stands for frequency modulation. If we take a waveform and we plug it into our output, it will sound like this. If we take another waveform, slightly different frequency, and we plug that into our output too, it sounds a bit like this. You hear both of the waveforms and it creates a little chord. This is not FM. So let's disconnect that. We keep the two waveforms and you plug the first one in again, hear it as a tone like last time, but rather than plugging the second one into the output as well, we're going to use that frequency to modulate the first oscillator's frequency. This creates a much more complex waveform, which might look something like this. These drawings are not scientific, by the way, but it gives you an idea that there are lots more wibbly wobblies in there, and that creates a lot more upper harmonics. And that's why we get this sort of sound. That is frequency modulation. Good to know is that these oscillators are not referred to as oscillator often in FM synthesis. They're called operators instead. There are two types of operators. One is the carrier, which is in this case, this one, that's the one you're hearing. And then there is the modulator, which is the one that is not connected to the output, but it is uh, connected to the first waveform to make it wibbly wobbly. Is that a real word? I don't know. A lot of synthesizers have multiple operators. For example, the um, operator in Ableton has got four uh, traditional hardware synths, like the DX7 has got six. And you can just imagine how complex these uh, sounds can get if you have, let's say, one carrier, that's the signal you hear, and then you have a bunch of other frequencies modulating each other at different speeds, maybe they have different envelopes, uh, that creates really, really complex sounds. There's one more thing I would like to say that will hopefully help you on the way. The so-called algorithms. You might have seen these little boxes. They're down here in the operator. Uh, this is what they look like on the DX7. And that basically just explains in what order these different oscillators are connected to one another. So you can see which one is the carrier and which ones are the modulators and which ones are sort of feedbacking into one another. I hope this demystified it a bit for you. So go and explore. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out the links in my description if you want to support this channel on Patreon or buying merchandise. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.